Hi, my name is Darren Bosch and I am the President of the Chilliwack Chamber of Commerce. We are here today conducting an interview series with our mayoral candidates for the 2018 election. We will hear their views on issues affecting business in Chilliwack. We hope you enjoy it and are informed by the series presented to you by the Chilliwack Chamber of Commerce and Chill TV. Question two. As a candidate, what is your view on property taxes in Chilliwack? Do they need to increase, decrease, or stay the same, and why? I would like to see them. I, I don't think they should be increased. Definitely not increased. Being the same, I can handle that as a property owner. You know, it's not that outrageously priced. Uh, the people that are house owners and have a hard issue putting food on their plates, it would be nice to be able to help them out. I don't know how we could do that, but if there is a will, there is a way. I am here to help the people. Yeah, this is the most challenging topic in local government. It's, uh, and it's, and it's uh, not a fun place to, to be, in, in my opinion. Um, but I'll give you an example. I had a, I had a respondent today to a, to a couple questions I put out on social media. Asked me about um, what he should be doing. His business has been broken into 20 times in the last year. He's put in place bars and security cameras and he has staff who don't feel comfortable working late hours and closing his store. That is the real cost of underservicing our community. And in my opinion, um, a respondent like that, if we show them a value proposition of, of not a massive increase in taxes, I would never advocate for that, but a measured approach to deal with our issues. It costs money to deal with issues. And so if we look at something like a, um, a $1 uh, million dollar increase in revenue for the city of Chilliwack, the average home taxes in Chilliwack will go up by $24 per year. And I believe that that is a very reasonable approach. And with that, we can hire five RCMP officers full-time, six RCMP officers full-time. And those are the kinds of things that we need to show the community when we start talking about value. So I do believe that we need to see a small increase in our taxes over time in a way that's absorbable, but, um, but nothing dramatic. Um, there are economic impacts to raising taxes uh, too much too soon. No one wants to raise the taxes, but we do need to be realistic. Our city is growing and our homeless population has grown 203% from 2014 to 2017. That's more than the population growth coming into Chilliwack during that time. I don't want to raise the taxes, I don't, but that, will, that won't be my first option for sure. But certainly I want to find um, how they've been spending some of the money, like our dike, the dike on Young Street, now we have a lawsuit against the city. 10 to 15 people have put a lawsuit against the city of Chilliwack. And I believe that the dike isn't even finished. So that's, that's a really important issue for me. And I know for the people on Young Street as well. I certainly will not be encouraging some metal flowers off of Young Street. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to misspend um, tax money. So I, I think you have to be careful there. But I think I, I, I appreciate the art that's there on, on Evans Road, but I would have preferred to see um, that we're an unceded land of the Stolo Nation. I would have preferred to see something there, uh, a piece for the Indigenous people, for sure. I would certainly like them to stay the same. I like our pay as we go. I think our amenities that, that, that we have had built and are building like the curling rink, are going to be pieces of money that are going to be paid for. I think it is going to, uh, um, the, the part about building the economy is on the business side and that will increase our tax base. So no, I am a, a proponent of keeping our taxes low. So I've been privileged to be in City Hall on the day when people have to pay their property taxes. And I can tell you, I have never heard anyone say that they want higher property taxes. As a matter of fact, businesses pay 2.2 what a regular homeowner pays. So for them, higher taxes can actually uh, torpedo their business. So I'm very careful about this. I'm a very strong advocate at the table to keep our taxes low. We have the lowest taxes in the lower mainland. That's why businesses coming to Chilliwack, like Molson's, Berry Hill Farms, other businesses as well. And uh, we have no debt. We pay as you go and have a 10 year comprehensive municipal plan. That's what I want to see happen. I want to see us pay and I want to see us pay as we go. And I want us to never incur debt.